Hello, I'm Alice from the Salvation Army in Mould. Usually on a Wednesday morning in our centre at 10.30, we stop everything and share a pause for thought together. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't meet together, but we thought it'd be really good to share a pause for thought on a Wednesday um, so that we can share a little bit of something that's been going on in our week. Now, I don't know if you are anything like me, but I'm really not a gardening fan. Thankfully, my husband Paul is, and he comes and sorts the garden out. I love to sit in a beautiful garden, but getting my hands dirty isn't really my kind of thing. About two years ago, uh, my husband Paul decided to move some plants around in our garden. And so he took things from one place and planted them afresh in a, in a new place. There were two bushes in particular that Paul moved, and one of which is this little bush that's down here, this lavender bush. Now, last year, after a year of moving it, it looked really dead. We were a bit worried there was a bush over on the other side of the garden that didn't seem to take. And we were really worried about whether it would come to life, whether we killed the plant, what was gonna happen. However, just the, uh, yesterday we were having our lunch in the garden and we saw that this plant had started to grow again. We saw that it looked very much in life. It was alive. It had taken some time to adjust to its environment, to get used to its new place in the garden to where the sun rises and falls, to how the soil feels. It was adjusting to its new normal. It was lovely to see that regardless of the move, that plant could still flourish. Now it reminded me of our situation that we're in at the moment. I don't know about you, but we're living in a new normal. The things that were once so normal, so mundane, getting up, leaving the house, going to work, all of a sudden that's changed. In our own lives, things have been turned upside down. In the lives of our family, we can no longer meet together for a Sunday lunch. We can no longer celebrate birthdays, special occasions. We're stuck in our own place. We can't go to the jobs that we've been used to going to. There is a new normal in the jobs that we have. And for us as a church, it's so very different. We're not able to meet in person. We're unable to do the things that we're used to doing. The Salvation Army help people all over our community. But now there's not a lot that we can do. We're unable to be who we are. Is that so true? Or have we just got a new normal? As we're starting to adjust to what this new normal will look like, God's really been placing something in my heart. He keeps saying to me, fear not. Just two words, fear not. Now those words, fear not, are found 365 times in the Bible. One fear not for every day of the year. And it made me think, where can we find these ideas of fear not? Well, there's some really interesting passages in Matthew and some of which people have been talking to me about just this week. One of the other lovely things about mm. in this mm. garden is the birds. I was uh, watching out of the window this morning as a little blackbird trotted around the garden finding his food. To him, life was no different, but to us, everything is different. But let me read this passage from Matthew chapter 6, 25 to 34. This is why I tell you, never be worried about your life, for all that you need will be provided, such as food, water, clothing, everything your body needs. Isn't there more to your life than a meal? Isn't your body more than clothing? Look at all the birds. Do you think they worry about their existence? They don't plant or reap or store up food, yet your heavenly Father provides them each with food. Aren't you much more valuable to your Father than they? So which one of you by worrying could add anything to your life? And why would you worry about your clothing? Look at all the beautiful flowers of the fields. They don't work or toil. And yet not even Solomon in all his splendour was robed in beauty more than one of these. So if God has clothed the meadow with hay, which is here for such a short time and then dried up and burnt, won't he provide for you the clothes you need, even though you live with such little faith? So then, forsake your worries. Why would you say, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For that is what the unbelievers chase after. Doesn't your heavenly father already know the things your body require? So, above all, constantly chase after the realm of God's kingdom and the righteousness that proceeds from him. 
then all these less important things will be given to you abundantly. Refuse to worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge that comes your way, one day at a time. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Fear not. A little while later in the same book of the Bible, in Matthew chapter 10, he talks about, uh, Jesus talks about birds again, and a really interesting verse that I want to leave you with. Uh, it's Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 to 31. And not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. And I just wanted you to know that today. Fear not, you are more valuable than many sparrows. On this, we're gonna put a little link to a song which is by um, a person called Jason Gray, and it's called Sparrows. If you have the time and if you've got access to YouTube, click the link, listen to the song, and just pause and think that you are worth more than many sparrows, even in this new normal. Thank you and God bless.